Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about using the fewest coins to make an amount. Now here they're saying Tara showed 30 cents two different ways. You're going to choose the way that used the fewest coins. Obviously when you're looking at it, the fewest coins mean the least amount of coins in front of you. This is four coins, this is two coins. So this way down here is actually the fewest coins. When you think about it, if you had 100 cents worth of coins in your pockets. Would you rather carry around a hundred pennies or four quarters, right? It's easier to lose some of those pennies than if you just had four quarters in your pocket. So you're always trying to have the least amount of coins that you can. It's just easier to carry and also easier to count. So here we can easily see that two is less than four, so this would be the fewest coins. But sometimes they're asking us to do it. So here we want to show 55 cents in two ways. I'm going to continue to show you coins like I've been. So using the fewest possible coins here. Remember, 55 pennies is definitely not the fewest way. So let's try to think of some other ways. When you're trying to come up with the fewest coins, I'm going to start there first. You always want to start using as many of the largest coin you can. So the largest coin that we know is a quarter, right? Now, I know that two quarters is 50 cents. So that's already the largest amount. Now, I have 50, I need to get to 55. Again, I wanna use the fewest coin. So while I could use five cents, that's not the fewest. I know that one nickel is worth five cents. So five, 50 plus five is 55, and I only used one, two, three coins. Now here, I can show it any way I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe I wanna do, um, Five dimes equals 50, and five pennies equals five. That still equals 55. This time I used 10 coins. So see here I used the fewest, which is three. Here I used more. It's not the, it might not be the most, but it's definitely more. But I'm looking to try to figure out the fewest. So again here, I'm gonna show 40 cents two ways. Remember, I wanna start with the largest possible coin that I can. So. I could use a quarter here. Could I use two quarters? No, because two quarters is 50 cents. So I can use one quarter. That gets me to 25, okay? The next largest coin that I know of is a dime. So let's see how many dimes I could use. So if I used one dime, that would get me to 35. Two dimes would get me to 45. So I won't be able to use two dimes. I can use one dime that's worth 10 cents, that gets me to 35. Now my next largest coin is a nickel. I know a nickel is worth five cents. I already have 35, I'm just trying to get to 40. So one more nickel gets me exactly to 40. So here, I have 40 cents, and again I used one, two, three coins. Over here I can make it any way I want. So maybe I just wanna do four dimes equals 40 cents. It's almost the same, it's 40 cents, four coins, but it's not the fewest coin. So remember, fewest, you're gonna start with the largest coin you can use, and then go from there. If you're only trying to make 17 cents, obviously you can't use a quarter. But what's the next largest coin? A dime, use as many of those as you can, and then go to the next largest coin, and so on.